Hey, fifth graders. Today's language arts lesson is a review on adjectives. We've been talking about adjectives all year long, so this should not be a difficult lesson for you. Once you finish watching this video, you may complete page 51 of your language arts review. All right, guys, let's talk about adjectives. Definitely a review as we have talked about this all year long. Let's look at the first rule of adjectives. Adjectives describe nouns or pronouns. They tell what kind, which one, or how many. All right, the second rule. Adjectives can appear at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a sentence. All right, rule number three. Adjectives can come before or after the nouns they describe. All right, and our final rule for today is one that we actually talked about last week as well. Adjectives often come after a linking verb. All right, let's look at our example on activity page 51 in the rule box. Computers can bring abundant information into our homes. So we've talked about finding adjectives um, before, and sometimes the best way to do that is to find the nouns in the sentence. So here we have computers are a noun, they're a thing. Information is a noun, and homes is a noun. Well, do we have anything describing what kind of computer or how many computers or which computer? We don't. So we don't have an adjective describing computer. Let's look at homes. Do we have an adjective telling what kind of home or how many homes or which home? No. We do have the possessive pronoun before it, our, but that's not an adjective. But let's look at information. Do we have an adjective describing what kind of information? We do. What kind of information? Abundant information. All right, let's look at part A, number one, on page 51. The instructions for numbers one through five say write ADG for adjective. Above each adjective, write N above the noun it describes. So let's look at number one. The internet is a fascinating tool for research. So let's look at our nouns. We have internet, tool, and research. All right, do we have an adjective describing what kind of internet or how many internets or which internet? No. Let's look at research. Do we have an adjective telling what kind of research or how many types of research or which research? No. Let's look at tool. Do we have an adjective telling what kind of tool? Yes, we do. Fascinating. What kind of tool is it? It is a fascinating tool. So you would write A, D, J above fascinating and N for noun above tool. All right, now let's look at part B on page 51. The instructions say, choose an adjective from the box to complete each sentence. Write the adjective on the line. Note, some of the words are not adjectives. You can tell there's only five questions on part B, but if you look in the box, there are more than five words over there. So what they're saying is not all of those are adjectives. To tell if it's an adjective, you look at it and say, hmm, does that word tell what kind or how many or which one? If it doesn't, then you know it's not an adjective. All right, so let's look at number six on part B. The internet brings blank information to you in the comfort of your home. So which noun comes after the blank? Information. So I know the adjective that I'm going to look for will describe what kind of information. So then you can go through the box. The internet brings quickly information, attractive information, Powerful information, data information, valuable information, rapidly information. Ooh, what do you see on the end of rapidly? L-Y. That tells you that's not an adjective, doesn't it? It tells you that's an adverb. Reliable information, hmm, power information, trustworthy or 
rapid. So you may have looked there and said, well, there's more than one I can use. And yes, there is more than one that you could use. So I'm going to choose um, valuable. The internet brings valuable information to you in the comfort of your home. Uh, another one I noticed, reliable. It brings reliable information to you, trustworthy information to you. If you look at quickly, the very first word, again, what two letters do you see on the end? L-Y, which tells you that is not an adjective, that is an adverb. There you go, adjectives. You may now complete page 51 of your language arts review. And if you have any questions, you know how to find me. Have a great day.